only that's what if you want you can change but this, this one you cannot change this this is already configured in a web.xml file that file is available in predefined jar files if you want to change this one that xml file also you have to change the jar file you have to extract that xml you have to open their configuration uri you have to change okay with that configuration these classes out purpose one class set purpose one class remove purpose one class every tag purpose one class already configured those classes executed backside in a one xml 10 solids also you can configure no like that these all already configured in xml these class names so this one tag equal into one class one attribute equal into one variable to set one setter getter method so these all already defined but where it is defined in xml uh, in jar files it is there that is the reason you are right if you want to use this 10 tags in jsp program if you want to use this 10 tags in jsp program first this line you have to attach then what will happen for these all core tags prefix c is there uh, i written prefix c this one this one must match if you want you change here then you change here but this one if you want to change xml file configuration you have to change but where is xml it is in jar files again this tag name if you want to change that class name you have to change so that's what this one don't change this one don't change you continue like that only if you want to change again jar file you have to extract xml file you have to open java classes you have to open you have to modify that part required uh, that's what do not don't change if you want change prefix only and uh, in this tag what are the attributes are there in this tag what are the attributes are there what are the core tags are there this is also available in you can search in google that is available how many core tags are there? what are there everything available gstl tax core tax list or core tax you can type uh, then here documentation part oracle website okay uh, oracle website it is tag library descriptor documentation uh, here say tax summary how many tags are there these many tags are there these many tags each tag what purpose each tag what purpose description uh, suppose how to tag first tag if you click uh, this tag attributes attributes these all already present whichever tag you want that is tag you can click remove see in remove tag attributes uh, so otherwise every tag if library it is also on library it is also library gstl core tags see they given already standard syntax like this you have to write so here tag lib prefix equal to c uri equal to this one so according to this only i am writing there our own we cannot write okay uh, this is already configured uri http colon to forward slash java dot sun dot com jsp jstl core this is this is added and uh, this jsp solids jdbc java bean these all updation they stopped long back only released still five six years over they are not updating also because companies are using only frameworks that's what they stopped updations that's what old library only is there still old library only we are using see you have seen already jsp version history if you open uh, see in a wikipedia website it will be there wikipedia website uh, see uh, initial release 1999 24 years ago last release latest 
10 months ago, but JSP programs are not updated, maybe software updated. Okay, uh, April 31, 2022. Uh, so, here that may be software, maybe some JVM related, JSP engine related, maybe it's updated, but those are not out updated. See, even if you take Sowlet's version history, Sowlet's version history, Wikipedia website. Uh, see, when Sowlet's is updated, uh, year also nine months ago, uh, but maybe recently updated. That old version, if you take next version, you will see, uh, see here, when they updated, you observe 9, 2022, 2021, 2020, 2019, little bit updated. See year 13 to 17, four years gap, year two years gap, year one year gap, year two years gap. But year also important changes, very few changes will be there. You observe. Okay, very few changes will be there. These all not updating. They are not updating because companies are using frameworks. That's what they are not updating. Now, now these tags, if you want to write this line, you have to attach in JSP program. Now, each tag, what purpose? This is this information I given yesterday. Uh, but now Tomcat 9, we have to configure server configuration first required. Uh, so I'll change the workspace. Uh, one new workspace I'll create. Uh, now, one new workspace I'll create here. I'll select new workspace. I'll configure other server. Uh, you observe browse desktop 730 batch select folder. Uh, now, launch. Now, new workspace created. Uh, I'll close this. Uh, we have to configure server now. Uh, by default, Java double perspective. Okay. Servers. Uh, here I'll configure server. Right click. This all already you studied. It. New server. Expand Apache. Uh, select Tomcat 9. Next. Uh, browse. Where Tomcat 9 installed. C drive, program files, Apache Software Foundation, Tomcat 9. Select. Uh, next. Finish. Uh, server configured. Okay. Server is configured. Uh, this is, you can check whether server running or not. Start. Okay, server started. Your port numbers also you can check. 8005, 8083 I given. Okay. Uh, now, server is running. Uh, I want to write on JSTL program. Uh, now, file new uh, dynamic web project. Uh, something JSTL. JSTL I selected. Okay, uh, the version, all those things, default, whatever is there, continue. Next, generate XML, finish. Uh, now, we can write JSTL programs. Uh, first tag, out. Uh, now, I'll teach this one. Uh, first, this, first, what you have to do? First, if you want to use JSTL tags, these two jar files you have to download from internet. Just you type in Google standard.jar download, jstl.jar download. After downloading, those two copy into Tomcat lib folder. After copying in JSP program, this line we have to attach. I'll teach. Now, first attack C colon out. No done. C colon out. It is used to display. Output messages. It is used to display output messages. 
it is used to display output messages. Uh, see, if you want to display output message, C colon out. Uh, now, directly I'll write in the program instead of syntax, attributes, all those things, directly I'll write example. Uh, see, already you studied uh, JST, other tax, actions, nine actions, you studied. Syntax is already you studied now. You got it. Prefix, you are right. Colon, you are right. Tag name, you are right. Attributes, you are right. If you want to close tag, if you want to write, next close, you can write. Otherwise, slash, you can write. You studied now? Same style. Syntaxes, example, same style. Uh, right click, new. JSP. Uh, now, uh, suppose out, out dot JSP. File name also I'm writing out. Next, finish. Uh, now, uh, these all I'll remove. These all I'll remove. Uh, now, if you want to write JSTL tax core tax, first this line is compulsory. Tag lib URI equal to HDP colon two forward slashes Java dot sun dot com JSP JSTL core. Uh, after that, prefix C. Uh, if you want, you can change the prefix, but you cannot change that one. Uh, now, here c colon out uh, value equal to uh, welcome to jstl this is on slash over now you observe here out is a tag value is a attribute c is a prefix uh, now when this line is executed when this line is executed first jsp engine it will read out what is out it cannot understand because this is not there in the JSP library. It is separate jar files are there. Uh, so first what is out it cannot understand. Then it will check the prefix C. Then what is prefix also it cannot understand because that is not there in the uh, library. In the JSP library JSP prefix is there but this prefix is not there. Uh, so first it will read out what is out it cannot understand. Then it will read a prefix. What this prefix also it cannot understand. Then what it will do? It will search for tag lib directive. This line is not there. Error. Uh, then it will search for tag lib directive. Uh, tag lib directive is there. Then it will search for prefix C. Uh, it is matched. Uh, then it will read this line. Now control jumps to XML. Control jumps to XML. XML is available in standard.jar, jstl.jar. There, there it is there. That jar files are not there. Error comes. Uh, in that jar files, this XML configuration is there. Then automatically, out to purpose, one class will be there. That class executed. And uh, this value equal to, if you write method called, you studied recently, you studied like this, you studied no JSP colon set property name equal to MB value uh, property equal to message uh, value equal to welcome like this you studied no. Uh, so actually you are writing like this, but internally what is happening? Message being dot set message welcome like this calling no. You are writing like this, but it is nothing but equivalent to like this only, no? Uh, so message being reference dot set message welcome. Welcome method is called here also for this class. One backside one class will be there. In that class, method will be there. That object created this method called with that output comes. Uh, see, just out value equal to welcome to JSTL. Uh, now it is executed. You see. Right click, run as, run on server, save. 
select server finish restart the server Uh, now, what we have to type out.jsp. See, welcome to JSTL. But previous JSP, this JSP, what's the difference you observe? Previous JSP, we return like this. Like this, you have seen. But it appears like a normal Java programming style. It appears like a HTML style, no? Tax type. This one, you studied first JSP program. But this one different, no? Uh, so tag based, 100% tag based. As compared to this one, this is more comfortable. HTML type appears. It is 100% tag based application. Uh, if you want to add HTML code, you can normal, that is. That is, you can add it whatever you want. Okay? Those are nothing. Not compulsory. Uh, these are not compulsory, optional. Uh, these all, if you want, you can add attach. But here changes are only two lines you observe. Uh, that is HTML. Now, C colon out value equal to welcome to JSTL. That is executed. So right click, run as, run on server, save. out.jsp welcome to jstl okay uh, this is out example uh, now write this example So backside, every tag, one class will be there. Every attribute, setter, getter, methods will be there. One variable will be there. Oh, is it over? Oh, see, first in this program, these two lines only JSP. These two lines only JSP. JSP engine, first it will read out. What is out? It cannot understand. Because it is not there in the JSP iPhone API.jar file. It is not there in Tomcat server lib folder. Then it will read C prefix. Prefix also it doesn't know. Then it will search for tag lib directive. Suppose in this program, if you don't write tag lib directive, see the error. 
where is that library it doesn't know that library is available in uh, the standard jar jstl jar that configuration required see run as run on server save uh, now out dot jsp see what you are getting that html the background color html you know html executed jsp is not executed you observe this is the previous one uh, so you are welcome to jstl not displayed no? uh, now this line this html only displayed uh, here in server console server console also no error does not exist one error should come one minute One minute. Uh, see, full stack Java students, new batches are there. Uh, the batch details I'll provide. Those are attend attending full stack Java courses. Uh, new batches. Uh, see, one selenium batch is there. One minute. No, yeah. Here, Angular 15 for full stack Java, Selenium for full stack Java on 20, 9 o'clock, Angular 15, Selenium and 20, 2.30. Okay. Uh, Angular 15, Selenium. Advanced Java, this is Advanced Java class only, already attended. Uh, Oracle, those who didn't attend Oracle, at Oracle also. 23rd, 9 o'clock. And uh, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. 23rd, 11 o'clock. Okay, four batches. Advanced Java, you're already attending. Those who are, I think HTML, CSS, or Oracle also attended. Uh, only uh, Angular 15 and Selenium. Those who didn't attend, uh, these two batches you can attend. Okay, Angular 15 on 20th March, Monday, 9 o'clock. Selenium on 20th March, 2.30. Okay, uh, for learning Selenium, Core Java up to exception handling required. That's it. Angular 15, HTML, CSS, HTML knowledge required. You can attend. That is TypeScript will be there. TypeScript. Okay. These two you can attend. Those who didn't attend till HTML Oracle, uh, HTML Oracle batches also are there. Uh, it is Advanced Java new batch, but already you are attending Advanced Java. Uh, this HTML Oracle also, those who didn't attend till, you can attend. HTML 11 o'clock on 23rd, Oracle 9 o'clock on 23rd. Okay. Uh, these all your 10. Offline, online will be there. Both are there. Angular you can attend. Without bootstrap also you can attend. Angular TypeScript will be there. JavaScript style will be there. These two you can attend. Okay. Spring batch, you are not there. 
spring for full stack java student not there it is another spring batch is there full stack java students not there full stack java students these four batches are there angular only online is there i have no idea just minute Uh, angular only online is there yes angular only online is there now uh, you can in other details you can contact admin okay uh, see here if you write like this what is out it cannot understand what is c it cannot understand then it will check the tag lib directive this tag lib directive required then only it is executed okay other batch details you contact admin only development security operation that is not there in the website uh, now this program Uh, next set remove at a time i'll give uh, next write it uh, next write it c colon set it is used to set the value in a variable c colon remove it is used to remove the value from variable it is used to remove the value from variable c colon set it is used to set the value in a variable c colon remove it is used to set remove the value from variable if you want to store set if you want to remove remove Uh, how to use you observe uh, already you studied jsp expression language jsp expression language jstl we can combine possible uh, set tag for set the value remove tag remove the value okay uh, is it over uh, see in this program only otherwise another program say right click new jsp uh, suppose set dot jsp next finish ah uh, here first tag lib compulsory tag lib uri equal to hdp colon java dot sun dot com jsp jstl core Uh, after that prefix c uh, now you can use c colon set var is on variable attribute is there value is on attribute is there uh, now here suppose a variable name 10 value uh, now this is one value stored in variable this one if you want to print uh, how to print you are seeing just now c colon out uh, value equal to a uh, will it print a or 10 will it print a or 10 just now you have seen in the value equal to welcome to jsl return uh, what is printed welcome to jsl printed if i write a what will printed a only printed 
okay output a comes value will not come see output a comes value will not come uh, say right click run as run on server save save uh, set dot jsp say output a uh, if you want to display 10 here you have to use expression language dollar open brace close brace now you will get a 10 now this value evaluated expression evaluated with that value printed see right click run as run on server set dot jsp see output 10 uh, now, now what I'll do, one more time, I'll write C colon out value equal to dollar A. Uh, one more time printed. Two times I printed, uh, two times output comes, 10, 10. Set dot JSP. 10 two times printed. Now I'll remove. Uh, before this, I'll remove. Uh, C colon remove. Variable equal to A. Uh, if I remove, now it is removed. If you print, it is not printed. One time only printed. See, value removed. A variable value removed. Uh, write this one. Example.
over so here a value 10 that is printed while printing expression language you have to use if you don't use expression language a only printed if you use expression language that is evaluated value 10 comes it is removed Oh, is it completed? Oh, next, if C colon if it is used to express the condition. It is used to express the condition. Nothing but just if statement. It is used to express the condition. Oh, is it over? So, first one to display output messages second one to set the value third one to remove the value fourth one to express the condition uh, suppose this program only i'll modify here value is 10 uh, after that what i'll do i'll check it c colon if uh, here test attribute is there uh, it will check a greater than zero uh, but a greater than zero, this is expression. It should be evaluated. So dollar open brace, close brace. Uh, if this condition is true, inside the if whatever you write, that is executed. Uh, here, C colon out value equal to suppose positive number. Now, in this line, a value 10, 10 greater than 0, true, then positive number printed. Uh, if it is false, no output. It is core tax, nothing but just like a core Java type. Core basics. Uh, set dot JSP. See, positive number. Suppose, if I write here minus 10, if I write minus 10, then no output. Output will not come. Uh, that value dynamically, if you want to pass, what you have to do? The value dynamically, if you want to pass, what you have to do? Say no output. Uh, now, instead of value here, writing here, if you want to pass dynamically, what you'll do? Which one? HTML. Again, HTML, HTML to get parameter, then you can pass here. HTML, you started, no? That already like that. HTML, you can write before this. When submit button clicked, this program should execute. Here, get parameter, convert into integer, pass. Those all you have to write. Okay. Uh, here, else tag not there. Else tag not prepared. Uh, if you want like a else, if it is true one a condition ex message, false one message means we have another. Choose when otherwise. It is just like a if else, if else type or switch case default that type we can use. Uh, write this program. Example.
choose when otherwise these three tags equivalent to if else if else ladder or switch case default that type so with this line 10 will be stored in a with this line condition checked true means this is executed false means no output remaining part html to write core tags this tag lib directive compulsory tag library tag lib nothing but tag library is it over in the tag library. Uh, now, next one, choose when otherwise. Uh, next, write it. Fifth one, C colon choose. Uh, sixth one, C colon when. Seventh one, C colon, otherwise. Oh, write it. The above tags are equivalent to if else, if else statement or switch statement. and switch statement like equivalent if else if else statement and switch statement the above tags are equivalent to if else if else statement and switch statement choose like a switch when like a case otherwise like a default otherwise if else if else if else else that type but in inside the choose only we can write when and otherwise c colon choose c colon when c colon otherwise the above tags are equal to if else if else statement and switch statement. Uh, see, choose nothing but switch. In that, in a switch statement, here, case, case one, case two, n number of cases you can write, no? Uh, like that, when, when, n number of you can write. Last one, default. Otherwise, that type will write. Okay? Uh, now, I'll write this one, C. I removed uh, A value 10. C colon choose. Okay, C colon choose. Uh, inside, inside is choose C colon when. Uh, in a when test, uh, A greater than 0. Uh, nothing but expression. Uh, if A greater than 0, then I want to display positive number. C colon out. Value equal to positive number. Uh, now, same with if condition we written. With if tag. Uh, like this also works. Uh, see. Right click. Run as. Run on server. Save.
finish. Uh, see, pass to number. Suppose if I write minus 10, no output. Right click, run as, run on server, save. On, no output. Now I want to display negative number. Uh, it is possible. What you can do? C colon otherwise. Uh, here C colon out value equal to negative number. Now you will get a negative number. Right click run as run on server save. See negative number. Suppose if I enter year zero, uh, what is output comes? Kurjava, you said it, no? Uh, give me answer. Is there any difficulties there? Uh, what is output? How many will answer no output? What happened to you? Zero greater than zero, false. Then this is executed. True means this is executed. False means this is executed. Zero is not a negative number, I'll accept. But in this program, what will happen? If the condition is true, this is executed. The condition is false, this is executed. Here, if the condition is true, this is executed. Condition is false, this is executed. If you want to display zero also, one more condition you can write. Uh, see, that's what one more also we can write. Uh, see, C colon when test equal to uh, dollar A less than zero, uh, then negative number. Uh, this is I'll write here. Uh, here I'll write negative number. Uh, here zero I'll write. Uh, now what is output comes? What is output? Zero comes. Zero greater than zero, false. Zero less than zero, uh, then otherwise printed. Zero. Right click, run as, run on server, save. Now output is zero. Uh, suppose if I write minus 10, minus 10 greater than zero, false. Minus 10 less than zero, true. Then negative number printed. If else, if else ladder type only, tags are different, that's it. Uh, right, this one.
so it is just like a if else if else else that type or switch case default that type now it is first condition is false then second condition if this is also false then otherwise like this when 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 n number of you can write at last otherwise it is equal to if else if else if all conditions are false otherwise uh, is it over but here html type see every line tag is there no every line tag every line tag is there it is 100% tag based application okay uh, next for token uh, for each eighth one c colon for each it is equal into for loop it is equal into for loop it is equal into for loop uh, see is it over uh, now for loop uh, for loop how will write uh, for will write uh, c colon for each year for each of uh, in a for loop what will write generally int i equal to zero uh, like that one variable i okay variable i uh, after that begin where you want to begin one where you want to end ten step incrementing one now uh, if you write like this this meaning i equal to 1 i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus that type okay uh, now c colon out value equal to i uh, will it print i or i value how uh, to print i value dollar open close uh, if you want to display next line break otherwise same line displayed Now one to ten printed. Okay. One to ten printed. Clear? Now write this one. These are attributes. For each is a tag. For each is a tag. Where is attribute, begin is attribute, end is attribute, step is attribute.
So I equal to one, I less than or equal to 10, I plus plus. So for each, for each is a tag name, where begin, end, step. These are attributes. Uh, still two more tags are there, no? For tokens, redirect. Uh, I'll show you. Is it over? Uh, next for tokens c colon for tokens the word token somewhere you studied in core java where you studied string tokenizer uh, like that only it is used to iterate token by token in a given string It is used to iterate token by token in a given string. Token nothing but word. Word by word we can iterate. It is used to iterate token by token in a given string. Suppose if I write like this, welcome to Java. Uh, is it one string or three strings? Is it one string or three string? One string has three tokens. Okay. It is treated as one string, but three tokens. Uh, that token by token, if you want to extract these four tokens, they release it. Uh, see what you can do here c colon for tokens uh, here items uh, variable one variable we have tried uh, items you have tried welcome to java uh, now here variable something yes from this here how to how you are differentiate differentiating there are three words uh, with space that is delimiter there is one attribute delims space when space comes it will understand like a token uh, first welcome stored in yes that yes you can print c colon out value equal to dollar yes uh, then printed next line if you want to print line break uh, here welcome to java i given here space I given, the space I specified here, delimiter like. Uh, see, like this. Suppose comma is there, comma you have to write. Full stop is there, suppose here if I write comma or colon, uh, then colon you have to write. Then when colon comes, then it will separate like this. The space required space. Any character also you can specify. Whatever you want, you can specify. All right, this one.
so welcome to java is a one string it has three tokens tokens are separated with space one one token stored in yes that is printed is it over now for tokens is a tag where items delims these are attributes a last tag Uh, is it completed uh, last attack redirect c colon redirect now uh, it is used to redirect the control from one jsp to another jsp it is used to redirect the control from one jsp to another jsp uh, it is equivalent to solid redirecting in yeah, solids you studied redirecting no that type forward tag you studied include tag you studied but redirect you didn't study that is redirect here here they prepared it is equivalent to solid redirecting Over. So it is used to redirect the control from one JSP to another JSP. It is equivalent to solid redirecting. Uh, see, suppose this is set dot JSP program. Uh, now I don't want to display any output here. That's what I'll remove these all. I want to redirect to this program out dot JSP. Uh, just what you have to do here. C colon redirect. Uh, URL equal to out dot JSP. Uh, then that program executed. So I'll send the request to this program. This program output comes. See, right click, run as, run on server, save. Uh, now I'm typing set dot JSP, but what is coming? Output out dot JSP. Okay, all right, this one. It is redirected. Control redirected to out.jsp. I send request to set.jsp. That is redirected to out.jsp. Uh, first category core tax completed. You will see continuation on Monday.
uh, online students. JSTL elements of oh, one minute or uh, solid redirecting only control password. Yes, uh, online student, just one minute wait. online students online students one minute one by one i'll clarify your doubts uh mayur yeah for each like a for loop it works for each type also works narayana yeah many 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 tags will be there my important tags are given bibudat still four five days sessions required harshit four five sessions required here kadar only control password C colon param C colon you are so many are there so many are there Harshit yeah this HTML type it is simple a full stack job Mayak Pandey full stack Java student spring only is there spring boot not there Akshay, depends upon usage we have to select. Rohini, core Java, advanced Java, with that, if you develop any project, you cannot include in resume. Better to develop with project with a framework. EMP.jsp, I didn't understand Kadar. Arshit, what is your doubt? Okay, we'll see continuation tomorrow. Core tag three shell, core tag attributes nodes. Uh, this is. I'll share in notes in Google Classroom also. Okay, uh, we'll see continuation on Monday. Total three, four, four, five, four, three, four sessions left. Satish. Now we'll see continuation on Monday.